Welcome back guys to another episode of Survive the Craft and I have some bad news I died yeah uh, as you can see I only have a diamond pickaxe because I lost everything I was AFK at, my, at the drown farm which I just installed a trident killer and a baby zombie glitched out of there and it killed me when I came back I had nothing so I had to restart from scratch, I had to get more diamonds, I had to get this pickaxe and I just got another fortune 3 book from that dude over there and I actually have a surprise here that I actually got I got a new villager in, in the town and that's the reason why I have this many rotten flesh in my inventory it's because that villager is actually a cleric and I have these three right here because this pickaxe is a silk touch and I'm gonna mine these three out so I can make a new one that I can use the fortune on just to get this out of the way I actually have six more diamonds here yeah and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one because I actually lucked out <laughs> because I have a, a brewing stand I don't get I don't have blaze powder so I can't make potions but I have a cleric and why do I need a cleric to trade rotten flesh for emeralds that's like the best trade I can actually get with the drown farm I have and I can also get glowstone if I want to and I can trade gold for emeralds too you know this is actually a really a really good villager to have and I need to do a little bit more trading with him so I can actually get a bit more emeralds I just have five from getting this this fortune the fortune tree book and uh, as, you, as you can see I have it takes like six times each time so 32 times six actually three stacks I got three it does increase his prices I mean when he restocks right now it will go up to 41 but I just wait a little bit and it drops back on to 32 and I just trade him and I get 6 emeralds here and another 6 so I, I got 12 emeralds and I, I can AFK the farm a little bit more which I just made a, a change to see if the zombie does, don't glitch don't glitch as much <laughs> hopefully they don't and I actually can survive while I'm AFKing there and don't lose all my levels and this guy, look at this he was selling me a fortune 3 for 20 emeralds he unlocked a fortune 2 by 24 emeralds I mean bro do you even know what you're doing? this is not how prices go bro and this one is projectile protection this is the one I've been trading the most because I really wanted to see what this one was and it's actually just a bad book uh, and I've just been trading books with him because they're actually more valuable than selling 24 24 paper because I get a lot of uh, I really get a lot of leather by killing all the, the wandering traders you know just spawn here they don't have to spruce so I just kill them if one is spruce I may not kill them but they don't have spruce I just kill them and I have the two sticks here I'm gonna do diamond pickaxe and I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna enchant it with fortune and I'm actually gonna grab this six I can just put here put diamond here and boom fortune three back again and this is the fact that I died is really bad because I just put it mending on the silk touch pick I enchanted the diamond leggings and the diamond boots I had and I lost them all I had a Feather Falling 4, Depth Strider 3, and it was a Protection 4, yeah, Boots, and I lost them. And I had a Projectile Protection 4 and Breaking 3 Leggings, and I also lost those. Uh, and all the diamond I had. But thankfully, I got these ones. Hopefully, oh god. Oh. Wait, did I just get 5 there? from one thing okay I got 12 from 6 on the other episode I got 11 from 4 
Yeah, so that was not a good trade, but doesn't matter much. I'm gonna save this once. I wanna have a full diamond armor and then I'll always take that thing. Always take the things off. Uh, when I'm, I'm actually gonna take one thing. I will always take my armor off. When I'm AFKing, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. Hopefully. I mean, the only thing that I will have is probably the tools that I might be repairing. But even that, I can, I'm probably gonna install like a hopper line, so that even if they actually come and kill me, they they just kill me. I lose experience, but all my items get get picked up. I'm gonna put my horse here, and this is what I did. I installed the Trident Killer River Basic one using the same clock that I have for the sugar cane, but just faster. Yeah, as you can see. They just stand there, and okay, I just realized this is not really good because I can't kill them this way. Yeah, I had a trapdoor. With the trapdoor, they don't come out, and I use the fortune. Yay! Oh no! Yeah, I installed the collection system. I'll show you in a second. Um, I'll leave I'll leave this be right now. So this is the clock I used. Like really simple, a lot of repeaters just powering the piston over and over again. I did the same shutdown mechanism that I have for the sugarcane farm. I just pull the lever, block goes back, it shuts down, so this will not be running. And for the collection system, I mean it's a little bit hidden, but I have a hopper minecraft. Hopper minecart, what? Hopper minecraft? Okay. Hopper minecart catching all the drops, then goes into this hopper line, I have the chest here, they're full of junk, <laughs> and I'm gonna do something about all of this junk, I'm talking about junk, I mean maybe if I, yeah here it is, the glass, this is what I want back, um, because this doesn't work, because for some reason the baby ones don't tie to the tridents, so I have a trapdoor, but sometimes they just glitch down on from the trap from the trapdoor. I I may have a solution for that, and that it would be placing a cobstone wall here and the trapdoor. That might be enough, but I'm not sure. So for now I'll have this, and for some reason they just stack somewhere, and then when I leave they just fall down like 70 of them. So let's hop back, hopefully the trader will have reset the trade, let's just see real quick, oh he's probably sleeping, oh yeah see 41, I don't like 41, I want him to drop down back to 32 so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna probably on the next day when he, reset, when he resets he will drop it down, I'm gonna put the horse here, and right now I wanna focus on the making the same farm that I just did. Basically, <laughs> it's a repeat, but for skeletons, I want a skeleton farm, and I found the skeleton spawner somewhere in this direction, underground, I have the coordinates, I showed you in the video also, and I will be making the skeleton, skeleton farm there, using the same trident killer, and I will need to make the storage for that, and that brings me to another point, that I'm not that good on iron. And I just used a lot of hoppers to make that farm. And if every time I want to do a farm I have to lose, use a lot of hoppers, I have two options. Or I make an iron farm, which are really weak right now, but they will be buffed on the 1.16. Or I can just go and mine like a lot. And that's probably what I'm gonna be end up doing. Just get a lot of a lot of materials like coal, redstone, lapis. These are mel these ones are melon seeds. I'm gonna put all of these melon because I already leech reached a level with this one. Yeah, that he showed me the the melon trade that I really wanted, so I will be trading with him until I get this one because this one is really good, like four slices for one. It's amazing. It's a really good, really good easy trade. I just need to 
start farming melons right now because I can actually stock up a bit. Sugarcane, I've been always taking this down to make paper and to trade with them. Potatoes, I'm actually gonna pick them up and trade with him to unlock him a little bit further. Don't have much, I'm not sure that I can actually take all of this. Yeah, I could still do one more trade, but I don't have enough potatoes right now. I'll wait. It's okay. And I'm gonna I'm going to see that one over there. Drop them in here. I'm not sure I can harvest. Yeah, no, I can't harvest yet. Oh look. <laughs> I <laughs> it's a did you order this? I mean you may have. Yeah, back to 32. See? Six. Perfect. These are these are other six ones and I'm going to save. And I need, really need to test out the ideas with, the, with that farm, so hopefully they don't glitch, uh, because just a while ago I AFK there for like an hour, and it was all good, and for some reason when I came back there was just two baby zombies out of there, I really don't know why, I really don't know how, but I have to test it a little bit more. The same thing. The same thing will not happen with the, the skeleton farm, which is good. The skeleton farm has one drawback, though, that is thorns damage, because some skeletons may spawn with thorns. That would be damaging me. So I may end up dying to thorns if I AFK there too long. Hopefully, I don't. Put these things here. And the villager I actually got here, I didn't tell you. The villager I got from here, he is from that village over there. And this, this little treasure right here, I found on another village. That's actually a little bit way off the map this way. And I saw it the other day while I was just roaming around looking for caves. And I saw it and I was like, I need to go there. I need to see if it has what I need, and it had. Thankfully, it had the the brewing stand. It had the cleric village villager, and I just brought it here. It will be a really good improvement into getting into farming the farming the the emeralds, and I can actually go and grab some gold. Great, with him real quick, so we can actually improve really good. I can actually buy redstone from that guy. That's a really good, really good thing that I can do if I ever run low on redstone. I have a lot of gold. I'm not really gonna use gold until until 1.16 to trade with the, with the piglins. Bro, bro, hello. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. This was like five. I think it was five. I've trades. That's really good. And these two guys, I didn't actually show you in the other episode, but I just named them. And they will be my shulker boxes. Yeah, because I don't have access to the end without place powder to make the the ender eyes. So I have to adapt with this. And they actually have a lot of space. I really I really thought that I'd be like, oh, they probably just have three, you just have six, you know. I have to find one with a lot of space, but they both have a lot of space. And I actually have a saddle somewhere. I got another saddle from a chest down in the mineshaft. Yeah, this one doesn't have a lot of arts, but this one does. This one is a tank. And I'm actually gonna put the those diamonds to use right now. Because I lost my sword, I'll be using iron swords from the drowned farm. I really want a better, a better sword, so I guess I'll do that. And and I'll actually go mining right now, get a lot more stuff done. And hopefully I get more diamonds. Hopefully I can get full diamond. I'm wearing Shane because I lost all of the iron. I have some bits here like the legs and the boots, but I really want, like to have full chain, you know. So, just used the entire chain that I had laying around in this chest. Oh, here it is, the saddle. And 
Maybe I could even wear gold if I want to, you know? Because I can actually get a, a really good helmet from all the helmets that I dropped there and boots. And I may just use an entire gold set from that farm to do the Guardian Temple. Uh, we'll have to see about that, but that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. And maybe in this episode if it gets too short, but not in this one, maybe in the next one if I get the... Uh, I got enough enough things so I'm gonna go mine you know I'm gonna get a lot more diamonds with this one and hopefully you know hopefully I get a lot more diamonds I'll, may, I'll be basically mining iron I need a lot of iron a lot of coal and I'll be back so guys I just finished some grinding and now I'm coming back here to show you little things that I just got and um, let's go downstairs and here we go yeah I got diamonds enough diamonds to make a full diamond armor already have the full set of, uh, of diamond tools it's just made the shovel the rest of my items are actually in the drown farm so I need to go get them back but what I came here for is to enchant this trident I want to have both tridents channeling trident and the uh, riptide one and this one is going to be a channeling one. Hopefully I get loyalty with it. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, it's just channeling. Yeah, that's that's sad. That is just sad. Okay. But there's not a big problem with that. As you can see, I also have 16 spare diamonds. I just I use this one to fish. Um see if I can find my normal I think it's probably in the chest as well yeah and not in here yeah it's probably in the rest with the rest of my stuff but why did it not work um so let's go and get it real quick and I'll show you how well the farm has actually been running um, and I made a slight adjustment to the, to the killing chamber, you know, so that the baby zombies would not just mess with me. Hopefully they will not ever come out. Um, I've been here a while and they have not come out yet and I need to also just improve this, like seriously. Improve this, I will work on that later. Oh, experience coming. Yeah, you see? Those guys, they don't die, but sometimes they glitch to here, and from here they can actually easily walk out. That's why I added this, so that if they glitch there, hopefully they still can't pass through this one. And just as a precaution, I close it, because this way I know for sure that they, they can't come, they just, they aren't there. They will not go through this thing. Hopefully. I mean, none have, have come out yet. I've seen them stay there. And they actually haven't gone through this. So hopefully it will work. This is my stuff. The Fortune 3. Silk Touch Mending and Unbreaking. I just put in Mending on this. Actually, let me just put it in my hand while we're here. Uh, the Looting 3. Looting 2, sorry. And Unbreaking. Where's my hand at? And this is the best one I got. Fortune 3, Sharpness 4, Efficiency 4. This is a really good axe. And I'll probably just end up using it even more than the sword. I, I want Smite on the sword to one-shot kill zombies and skeletons with a crit. And I want this one to be just the Sharpness so we can actually do a lot of damage. Uh, this is my normal fishing rod. I just enchanted with a level 30 enchant. You know, I didn't want to <laughs> wait a long time to fish a good one. Uh, so I just I just enchanted it. I mean, I got the levels, I got the lapis, so why not? And I'm gonna kill these ones. Yeah, I have to kill these ones manually. And they stack. They stack. I was here um, just AFK. And then when I, I, I was in the computer, so I heard a lot of mobs drop. And when I opened this, there were like 20 of them there. 20 baby baby zombies there. And I was like, oh my god. I grabbed the sword, I killed them all. And this 
is all the loot I have. If that thing there is so that I can toss the items there, they will despawn. I will eventually put lava there so the items get that get to destroyed. And yeah. I got a whole lot of tridents. Like seriously a whole lot of tridents. I'll get another one so I can actually enchant it and see what I get. But I want this. It tossed these ones these ones out. See there were there was gold stuck in there. So it's not full. Toss these things out. I'm stocking up on these ones. So I can try and get a really good helmet and maybe boots. Because my helmet and boots don't have oh respiration is my helmet and boots do not have the best things for swimming right now and I kind of want to have and this is just trash most of the time so I'm just gonna get rid of it there's a lot of tridents and I'll probably have to install some way of getting rid of all of these things because I don't need it. the thing that I like the most from here now is gold I really love the gold and I mean I guess these ones are cool but they're rare occasionally like really 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 occasionally there they may drop diamond stuff it's really hard to happen but I've seen it happen in my in my realm with a friend of mine so I know it's possible get diamond armor from this from this farm so I guess this is cool yeah you can see it's been working fine uh, if I get here and the piston is stuck always on just reset the just reset push push the lever piston retracts wait a while so that the pulse wears off turn it back on press the button and the loop starts again as you can see, I just got from 38 to 39. I stand here, experience does come through the trapdoor. Really good, I have this chest so I can dump all my stuff. And I can actually AFK here. I'm using this armor just because I have the diamond armor already, so I don't actually mind if I die with this armor. Hey guys, I just saw Raider. Let's see if he has spruce. And no, oh, he's leather. Yep, yep. Good old leather and leads. Okay, just <laughs> that was just a thing to see if I can actually get spruce. Yeah, let's keep going. So guys, I've been doing a lot of prepping to do this skeleton farm because I well I also wanted to start connect things up, and I did a big hole. Show you, I did it off here. Yeah. So I want to have easy access to all my farms, and this is how I'm gonna do it. I made a tunnel down there, actually, go there. This will take me to all my farms, in one way or another. And as you can see, I already started putting down the ice. This will go to other places, probably to the zombie farm, and then maybe later to the guardian farm. And let me just see if I can line this up. Yeah. And it still needs a, a few touches. Wait, why does it slow down? Oh! That is slow. Oh, really? It slows down on the torches. Wait. Let me just. Let me check that out. <laughs> real quick like does it really slow down because there's a torch there i mean torches torches should not have a hitbox so why is it colliding with it and slowing down just check that real quick another uh, yeah, this is good. This is spec ice, by the way. So I had to farm a lot of ice, like regular ice, in order to make this the pack ice. But with the with the ice farm, it's really easy. Silk touch pick, you know, just go over there, harvest it all, wait a little bit, harvest it all again, and now let's see.
Oh my god, wait. I actually... For some reason, it was not completely lined up. It's okay, but... He's not gaining full momentum. But the torches were slowing him down. So I may need to do the entire ice. Yeah, it doesn't work as good as in Java. So I may need to do all this ice in order to go faster. Not that I need to. Or maybe I'll just leave it like this. And when I need when I want when I want to go faster. I put the rest of the ice, or maybe when I actually <laughs> want to go and farm all of that ice. This will be a, a elevated water elevators to go up and down. Right now I have ladders. To go up I will have to use ladders until I actually go to the nether when 1.16 arrives. Until then I'll have to use ladders, and, but for the drop I can, also, I can just drop down. I mean, I don't die. Why? Is he alone? I think he's alone. He seems to be alone, yeah. Okay, he's dead. And... Oh, I didn't actually get to show you that, but in the at the end there is actually the... A farm, the iron, the skeleton farm. I haven't done anything. There's just a spawner down at the end, just a little box further. I have to make like a station to stop the boat. Uh, probably just a little bit further than when I actually got, and then start making the farm. That's just like the zombie farm, so it's actually really easy to do. Uh, without the fact that I need to drown them, just drop them, put it in front of me, and then have a trident cure, which I have a lot of. I want to. Oh, it's already here. Yeah, I made this with all the drops from the drown from the drown farm because I want to go and kill the the other guardian. You know, I want to do the the ocean temple. I want to start maybe prepping things up if I want to do a guardian farm because those are really really strong. I'm still debating on how I'm going to do it because on one dot sixteen. The, the guardians will actually be affected by water columns, by bubble columns. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait and do a farm there or just do a nether portal farm, but most likely I will wait, but I can start prepping things right now. So, and I made this so I can actually go and kill the, the boss because my helmet, which is downstairs, is really not that good like he has i'm breaking three yeah that's all he has <laughs> so compared to this yeah respiration aqua affinity i mean could be better it was just i'm breaking three this is really not gonna cut it and i actually have a technique that i can use to with only the helmet without needing potions i can actually kill the boss I and mean, the three bosses which is really cool. For that, I will need a little bit of this, and I'm down here, and a little bit of this, and these. I will need this red, this TNT. I was going to say redstone, but TNT in order to break in to the to the temple. I don't want to go around trying to find a way. You know, find my way inside. Want to break it, kill them, get out. Like one, two, and three. Really easy. So I'll actually continue the tunnel, start doing the preppings, and when I come back, hopefully I'll have the base of the skeleton farm done. Welcome back, guys. And now I'm just coming back here to show you what I've done. I just finished the spawner. I just need to close off this wall and take down that torch and it will be all ready to go. Let me show you, I made the entrance here, already start decorating it a little bit, you know, I'm gonna be, actually, here and here. 
I actually start decorating this so it looks a little bit better. A uh, few bones just started to come in and now let me show you how it runs. I mean the system is basically the same as the as the drone farm. I have the uh, repeaters back here going around in circles. If I want I can pull the lever and then push the block back, it will stop. I just need to restart the circuit back again with the button. Same thing I did for the drown farm and now let me actually go up here, finish the entire thing. Oh, damn, four! <laughs> okay, uh, let me just close this off so it does not mess with the corner and boom. All done. I go back down and experience. Put the, the mending. As you can see, it's really good. I put it three, yeah, three tridents there. Uh, I tried to put them like one in the far back, one in the middle, one in the front, so it can actually hit them wherever, whenever, wherever they are. It seems to be working fine. So I have plenty of tridents now with the drone farm, so I can actually do that. I could even put more if I actually wanted to. Uh, add a torch and arrows. And a little trick when using trident killers, if you if you have a looting sword, you can have it on your hand and will actually apply looting to all of your tridents. So this farm will actually produce a lot more items if I'm actually holding my sword with looting 2. I can actually play this into looting 3 as soon as I have it. And I'll probably do. And I kind of want smite on this sword as well. I have sharpness here, so I want smite here. And I think it will be it for this episode. Can I FK here a little bit? Just when I'm gonna prepare my pickaxe a little bit. And then I'm gonna try and finish the tunnel. Hopefully, I'll probably need to do the entirety of the ice. Let me just show you real quick. Because I don't like the fact that I can't get full momentum without this block. On Java you can, but here you need it, so I guess I'll actually just go farm more ice, put all of it, all of it here, and I'll try and finish the tunnel as well. Hopefully, I can actually do it. Uh, just little things. I'll try and put a decoration here maybe a skeleton skull not sure if I can fit it in such a small space but I can try to do something here to resemble a skeleton so I can actually see when I'm approaching it I'm gonna do like a dock a better dock here finish the ice road then I'm gonna finish the tunnel hopefully on next on the next episode I already have everything set up so till then see ya